Today we're speaking with Dr Niv Tadmore. He's a partner in the national tax team here at Clayton Utes. Niv, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Niv, the government expects to reap some $1 billion in extra tax revenue by introducing new laws to help prevent tax avoidance. The ATO has lost a number of Part 4A cases in recent years, and those were cases that the ATO strongly believed it should have won. Uh, the government has identified a weakness in the structure of Part 4A and has decided to rectify that weakness. And essentially, the weakness is about cutting through or short-circuiting a lot of inquiries that the taxpayer was entitled to make in those cases. And what types of businesses or structures are being targeted here? The Policy intent was to rectify a specific problem. But I think that the new provisions will go beyond that. I think that we're going to step into new territories as far as Part 4 is concerned. Uh, the first wave, if you like, I think would hit um, reorganizations of public companies, a private equity investment into Australia, a restructure of a family business, and cases where the tax benefit uh, is based on a deduction. The second wave, we'll have to wait and see how the ATO is going to deal with those provisions and how the courts are going to interpret the new law. And just finally, when do these provisions take effect? Once the bill becomes law, uh, it will be retrospective from 16 November 2012, uh, which means that people today would have to rethink and reconsider their approach to tax risk and part 4A. Niv, thanks so much for your time.